Hey everyone, it's Garcia's on Wheels and we are here to show you what it's like to live in a fifth wheel with a baby. So first, I'm gonna give you a quick tour around where we keep some of his stuff, his nursery, things like that. And then we're gonna sit down and chat about what's working, what's not, and our thought process behind everything. So let's have a tour. We're not going very far because it's an RV and most of his stuff is in this room. Right, so right here, we have his high chair that's foldable and then we also have his other chair that's a swing that's also foldable. Now we'll get more into detail about this later on but our main, um, th my main thought process at least was I wanted things that were foldable and easy to store. So keep that in mind. And over here right next to Tuckeronis is his lovely play gym. Now this can fold. You can take the little pieces up on top and lay them flat and fold it up. But we rarely do that because he lays on it most of the time. And occasionally the dog lays on it too. So we probably should have put that away. But that's one of his items. It's mostly here because this is where he lays on it. Okay, mommy has to show where your formula is. Over here is where we store formula and some other bottle items that we're currently not using at the moment. And up there, all the way up there, is um, kind of like a little library. It's a mixture of our books and some of the books that he's gotten throughout my pregnancy and right after. We can show them your cool bottle storage drying rack system. So over here is where we keep his bottles. Now what's cool about this, that it's also a drying rack. So you can take the bottom out, drain the water, and put it back in. So how we were doing the bottles before was I would just wash it and put it on here to dry, but then it all fill up with bottles and then I couldn't finish the dishes, or Reno couldn't finish the dishes. So I looked up on Amazon, tried to get some inspiration, and this is able to store bottles, but also dry them. So we wash them, put them in here, let them dry, dump the water, and then it's stored. Now in here in the mid bunk, before I show you, serves three different purposes. It's not only his nursery, but it's also the laundry room and Reno's office. So you're gonna see lots of different things in here, but we're gonna focus on the nursery part. So. Ignore laundry, that's just real life. And here's his nursery. This is his nursery. This crib, um, Reno and his dad actually built. Um, there's a video on that, if you haven't seen it yet, go watch it. They came up with the idea, bought the wood from scratch, and put it in here, and it's very sturdy. Reno even laid on it himself, and said that it works fine. He likes it. <laughs> The mattress is really nice. We have um, some cloth dressers, some cloth bins that store most of his stuff. We have his little laundry basket, his carrier, and this caddy. Now, I have to brag about this caddy. I saw this caddy on Amazon, and I was like, you know what, I have to have something for when we're in the bedroom. And this caddy goes with us everywhere. We put bottles in it, we put formula for the evening, we put his diapers, wipes are normally in there. I mean, this we just we just love because when you live in a fifth wheel, you have to think of things that are, you know, multi-purpose, multifunctional because we don't have a lot of space. So I didn't want to have an area up there just for um, his diapers and wipes and things like that because we really don't have the space. But this caddy, we can just bring it up there at night, bring it down here during the day and it works just fine. Now, Let's hop over here. Hi, Apollo. We got Apollo in the shot. Hi, Apollo kitties. I love you. Yeah, I do. So up here is the top of the mid bunk. And up here we have his bathtub and also some items that um, we're storing for when he's a little older that he obviously can't use right now. But hopefully in a couple Hi. months here, since you're already showing signs of sitting up, that we can use things. Psych. Daddy's not gonna answer the phone. So we're gonna continue on. So now, excuse me, Apollo kitties. 
Don't mind, don't mind us. We're just going over you. <laughs> Hi, Yoda Beans. So over here, we have his bassinet. Now it's really the main thing that's up here is the bassinet. Unfortunately, this did not fit next to me like I was hoping, but perks of living in a fifth wheel, it's pretty small. So we have a uh, bassinet right here. I have a camera up here so I can see him from when I'm laying in bed. Um, that way I can see, you know, if he's breathing, if he's falling asleep, when he's waking up, things like that. Reno says I'm creepy, but he can't be next to me and they're so fragile at this age, you know? So then we have this little mobile. It's very cool because it just clips on and it could go anywhere. You can even take this little part and just do the mobile, which is really nice. Reno's sister let us borrow it since she got it for her son. They don't need it right this very second, so she let us borrow it. And it plays the Frito Bandito song. If any of you know that commercial, let us know. <laughs> but it does play it. Then we have a sound machine right here. This little owl lights up and then we have a stars that just projects at night. And now he's starting to see it, which is really good, right? You like your stars? Mr. Julie messes. And that's really all we have up here. Now really in here, again, he just sleeps in here. So that's why this is all that's in here. Most of the stuff is obviously downstairs in the nursery where he's at most of the day when we're not at work. So now that I've given you a little tour of how we have everything, let's go sit down and chat a little bit about storage, organization, and all that jazz. Okay, now we are gonna talk about some things that are working some things that aren't working, what our thought process is, and um, some things that we're thinking about changing. Yes, so when I made the registry, I had to think about space and organization. You know, we live in a fifth wheel, there isn't a lot of space for things. So I had to think about how can we really have a baby, have all the necessities and store it places. So we had to get creative. So I grabbed things that were foldable, that were easy to store. Hence the um, high chair that you saw, it's foldable. It's something we use all the time and it's something that we needed, but it's easy to store. Same with his swing chair thingy that we got him. <laughs> whatever what, that's called. Whatever it's called, I don't know what it's called. Um, it's foldable and that's what my thought process was. Things that were foldable, but also the necessities that he needed. Now we're going to talk about the things that are working, and that would be the crib. The crib works really well, um, and at first we were a little nervous to build it, but actually it's really nice to have. It's very sturdy, and the reason why we built it is so we would have storage underneath, because if you see the ones that you buy in the store, sometimes they have two drawers underneath them, sometimes they don't have any at all, but we needed a lot of storage. Mm -hmm. So that has totally worked. Doing all those cloth drawer dressers underneath, that seems to be really working. Uh, the bassinet works really well, and so does the command hook holding the little owl sound machine. <laughs> and um, now that he can see, the little stars that spin on the ceiling are really working too. So he really likes to watch that. So now that we have him, we've had to adapt some things a little bit. You know, when you or thinking about what you think is going to work, what's not going to work, versus when you have him in reality, you have to just try to kind of change things a little bit. Hence the bottles. We were just washing them, putting them on the drying side of the sink, but then we realized we weren't able to do dishes because it was filled up with drying bottles. So that's why we came up with trying to find a way to store the bottles and dry them at the same time. So that is something that we had to adapt there was some um, storage organization things we had to adapt. I don't know if you saw, but there were some black cloth bins that were underneath. That originally wasn't the plan. And then that ended up being the plan because he had a lot of little things like bandanas, some socks, some hats, his little washcloth, things like that, that we had to find a place for to organize. So those little cloth bins just happened to fit right on top of the dresser, which we're very thankful for. So I'm very thankful that you built the crib even though I was very hesitant about it at first. <laughs> I was not excited about it. Not excited because I, you know, in my head I was thinking I'm gonna get a mini crib because that was the original plan. 
And then he was like, no, we're going to build this because I saw this in another RV video. And they're doing this and I like all the storage underneath and it's working. So that's how we just had to adapt and change and get creative in a way. Okay, so the future plans. Uh, we noticed that while we have a lot of things that fold up, we don't have anywhere to put all those things that mm -hmm. fold up because RVs aren't designed for you to bring in more furniture and put them somewhere. They pretty much take up every empty space of your RV. So we have tables, we have couches, we have islands. So there is just nowhere to put things. So we're talking about um, possibly removing this couch right here that we're mm -hmm. sitting on and maybe moving the dining table over here and then putting a smaller couch over there where our dining table is right now. Um, and then trying to use some of that leftover space to store his high chair and his toys and things like that. So that's still a work in progress, um, but I'm sure that there will be a video coming out eventually with all those upgrades and um, some of the other renovations that we've done that we haven't shown you yet. So in the description box below, we're going to link um, some of these items from Amazon that have worked really well for us that we think will work really well for you. If you're planning on having a baby in an RV or have kids, or if you already have a baby and you need a new plan, those links will be down there below for you to check out. So that's it for us, and we will catch you in the next video. I know baby love bugs. We're going to give them a tour of all your stuff. So means you have to be on our best behavior. You see the light that's lighting up? That means we're recording. So that means no whining or crying throughout this entire thing. Do we, do we have an agreement? Okay, I'll take that as an agreement. <laughs>